Hi there again everyone, Josie here, Life at 50 and Beyond. Thanks for joining me here on my channel. Today I'm going to be making another Dollar Tree DIY organizer. First I'm going to show you the basic structure and then later on towards the end I'm going to be adding extras so that it will be a more functional organizer. So for this project I will be using five rectangular baskets that I got at Dollar Tree and then four mop handles and I've removed the mop heads and I'll be using the four as my legs or as my support. To connect them I will be using my zip ties and this Dollar Tree scissors very sharp so I can use this to make some cuts on the baskets as well as cut my excess zip ties and then these are the add-ons I'm giving you some options here so these are the wired baskets there's one here that measures 12 by 6 by 2 inches and then there's one that measures 3 by 12 by 2 so I will show you later on how I am going to be attaching them so first I'm gonna do an insert of a video where I remove the portion you know the rug or the rope and leaving this portion it was from my previous video but in the interest of time that's the reason why I'm not showing it or filming a new one I'm just doing an insert so you're gonna need four of them next I'm going to be drawing a couple of lines or I'll be marking the location where I will be making the slits or the cut so that the sticks or the mop handles will sit flush against the baskets because there is a lip around the top seeing my Dollar Tree scissors and I highly recommend this by the way because it's sharp I am going to be cutting over the lines you can bend it up like this to make things easier but you gotta cut a little bit further down close to the rim and then try to lift it up like that you're gonna cut on the fold up like this not on the one down see Perfect. I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. To ensure that the cut that I will make on the opposite side of the ones that I've already cut I will be using my mop sticks or the handle I will be positioning it straight and then using it as my guide I'm going to be marking it using the marker I will be marking the two lines and then I will make the cuts and that way the legs that I will put or place on each of the cut that I make will be aligned or parallel to each other making them more even then I'm gonna go ahead and proceed with my cuts shortcut that I can show you use this first one as your template okay or as your guide so what you do is you put this on top of the other baskets and that way you can just mark it off so I'm just gonna go ahead and mark it here see here I'm gonna use this as my template so that the other baskets when I cut them I already know where to make the cut it's it's much more accurate and you you'll have a better alignment okay that's it I'm going to go ahead and do the rest and I'll be right back. 
So here are four baskets that I have already cut and as you can see they're pretty much aligned. So I only cut four but I do intend later on at the end of the project that I will be using five because that will work perfectly for my needs. But I also want to show you or demonstrate if you're just using four trays or baskets depending on how large or tall the items that you're going to put. It will be perfect for bulkier items and you will have enough clearance if you're just going to be using four trays or baskets. And then I will readjust it later to show you with the fifth basket. So I'm going to be using this green basket as my bottom shelf and using my first mop handle or stick I am going to be starting off on this side. I just want to show you where I'm going to be attaching the sticks. If you notice I am leaning the stick against a solid background not where the holes are and just a note when you're cutting your or you're slitting the lip make sure that at the center lies that solid portion there because that's where you're going to be tying your zip ties. Make sure that the bottom part of the basket is sitting on the foot, you know, that black round part of the mop handle. That way the basket is going to be a little elevated and it's not on the floor. And that way that bottom part will not be protruding and the handle will be flush against the basket. Okay, my apologies because it was so hard to film this. I was out of angle earlier when I tried to attach it. So I'm just using one zip tie here first so that I can start off one leg and then I'm putting another zip tie on the top. Okay, one was closer to the bottom part and one is the other slot which is on the upper portion of this basket closer to where I made the cut like so. I just want to show you how I'm going to be reinforcing the other zip ties on this other stick. I am going to be winding it or wrapping it around three times so that it will be tighter. As you can see here by comparison that's just a single wrap or loop and then this one has three and it's tougher and I'm gonna go ahead and do it that way on all of the other remaining connections. At this point all the connections are a little loose so that I can still adjust the shelf. Okay, now that I have connected the bottom shelf, actually that is the toughest part to do, is to put that bottom shelf. I call it now a shelf because that's the purpose of those baskets to become shelves. So it doesn't look straight right now because the other baskets are not attached yet. So I'm going to be adding the top basket next. I'm going to place this just below the black handles so that I can take advantage of those handles and they can be used as such as handles when I am moving things around. I am going to tie the zip ties again around three times on all of them so that they'll be more secure like so. After attaching the top shelf or basket, it now looks straighter and then now I can add the other baskets. As I've mentioned before, I will show you how it looks like with just four baskets and then later on I will show you the final product with the five baskets. 
The reason why is because if you want to use this, for example, in organizing your kids' toys and they have those stuffed toys that are taller and bulkier, you can take advantage of the space. If you only have four shelves or four baskets, then they can freely put their stuffed toys and those bigger, lighter items in and with enough clearance. And voila, not to confuse you because uh, those shelves were still adjustable I decided to put blue at the bottom As if you recall I started with the green at the bottom but I adjusted it off camera and then I moved the green ones at the center and then I'm gonna put another blue one that I'm gonna be putting in the middle so that it will look much better with the five shells but here's how it looks like with just four and I readjusted the shelves to fit the fifth basket, darker shade of blue. And here it is how it looks like with five shelves. There's still enough space in between the shelves to put items. So you can use this for crafting, for toys, for a lot of other things, makeup, nail polishes, as well as books for kids, as well as maybe create or use this as a mini pantry. I just want to show you these two uh, containers here. This came two in a pack and this was like five dollars eighty-eight cents. It came from Walmart and if you want to use non-dollar tree materials just to hang on the side you can use these two items here. These are shower caddies. I think these are the hanging storage pocket and I've hold this a while back and use this if you want to but Feel free to use other things, but I want to show you the Dollar Tree items that you can use. So I'm going to be using this large wire basket that I showed you at the beginning of this video, and I'm going to be tying this on the top part here on the side because I'm going to use this to organize some items, and I'm going to be showing you what I'm going to use them for. So I'm just tying this crisscrossing style so that it doesn't get yanked off easily. So I'm wrapping it several times onto the first slot here on the top. And then I am going to be connecting them in a crisscross pattern so that it's not going to slide down. And to those of you who have a lot of scissors, this can fit up to 14 scissors. And I took the liberty of attaching a second wire basket on the other side and that's where I placed some of my hole punchers, my magnifying glass, and my awl. And look, the pair of the storage baskets or the hanging baskets that I showed you earlier from Walmart I put them below each wire basket. So I'm gonna go ahead and attach this dish rack that I got also at Dollar Tree. I will be hooking it up or attaching it with zip ties on each side. This dish rack can be used to organize your rolls of wrapping paper and if you're into vinyl art you know the rolls of vinyls or even mesh ribbons and even samples of fabrics that you can roll that can fit inside those partitions you can use this dish rack or pot lid organizer I'm also adding this small wire basket on the side so that I can place some smaller items, maybe even use it as a washi or small ribbon dispenser for my craft cart. And here's another Dollar Tree organizer. I like that this now comes in white. I'm using this. I also have a green one of this, but I just want to show you white works well as well. I really like how it looks like right now with all these other extras. I wouldn't want to remove anything. I'll probably add a couple more of that thin or smaller wire baskets on the right side just to balance things out. It just so happens that I only have one piece, but I plan to go back to Dollar Tree and buy a couple more of those. I use those two Walmart baskets at the bottom. And right now I really like how it looks like. 
And here it is. I set it up as a kitchen organizer. And if you can put this close to where you cook, especially if space is limited when it comes to your kitchen essentials for your cooking, this will be a perfect organizer and it houses everything. It's a mini pantry slash kitchen organizer. So this is set up kind of like a mini kitchen helper. I place some of the cooking utensils on the left and on the right. I have scissors, tongs, also can openers. And look in the small container here or the wire shelf, I place my knife as well as a grater. And if I have two more, of this wire basket here on the side I can place more utensils or knives there even probably spoons and forks and I use the two small baskets that I got at Walmart at the bottom to house more items there too and this caddy has the sauces and cooking oils and then I have spices here some canned goods also on the shelves and you know some items that you can normally see in a pantry so I place the heavy items at the bottom and on the side I have rubber bands here on the left and then on the right I have those food covers and uh, so that I can use them and they're in easy access and I even have those plastic bowls there for the soups and on this one I place the parchment paper and then wax paper you can add more like freezer bags, also aluminum foils, and anything that comes in rolls or those boxes, you can place them there. You can stack more canned goods. So I hope you enjoyed this video everyone. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Please share it to anyone who may be in need of a good organizer, especially those who are living in tiny places or smaller spaces. But feel free to use this even if you have ample space in your home. So I hope that you will Subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet. Click that notification bell so that you will not miss any of my new uploads. I have more organizer DIYs coming up soon here in my channel. And I hope you come back for more. And take care, everyone. Talk to you again on my next video. God bless. Bye-bye.